Let's talk today about the levator scapulae. It's a muscle that refers pain in the corner of your neck and which is typically involved in stiff neck syndromes, yeah? So when you, when you wake up and you can't turn your head anymore. Um, it's a muscle that attaches from the first uh, cervical vertebrae to the corner of your shoulder blade. Therefore, if the shoulder blade is fixed, it will move your head in this direction, whilst if the head is fixed, it will move the shoulder blade in that direction. When can you overload this muscle? Well, typically, if your shoulder is too high, that can be because you walk on crutches or uh, with a walking stick, which is too high. It can also be because you lean on your elbow or because you mouse with, uh, on a desk, which is too high. Now, it can also be overloaded because your neck is extended. You see, if I lean on my forearms, first my shoulder blades are raised, and two, my neck is extended so as to look at my screen. You also have the combination of the two strains when you hold your phone between the shoulder and the ear whilst taking notes, for example. So all these situations where you have shoulder up and neck extended are typical situations where you will damage this muscle. Damage, or at least overload. Now, I will show you a stretch for the muscle, but bear in mind that you really have to remove the causes um, next to the, the, uh, the exercises that you do. Otherwise, it's useless. It's like putting oil on the fire when the fire brigade is trying to switch it off. Okay? The stretch that I prefer is lying down. Why? Well, first of all, because you don't have your weight on the, the tissues. Two, because you're more stable, and more stable means more precise. Precision is something which is extremely important uh, when you stretch. So what we're going to do is we're going to lie down on the side. We're going to keep the shoulder blade low by um, holding the, the lower leg with our hand. You see, when I open the knee, that brings my shoulder blade down. And then, you see, I'm going to look at the cam, turn my head, yeah, so my chin is on top of my shoulder blade, and then I bring the chin down. And here, I'm stretching along this line. The goal here is not to have a round shoulder posture, but really to try and keep your, your torso, say, kind of tonic. And you just let your chin go down and to the side. This stretch, as every stretch, is to be held for one minute and it is to be done without pain on one muscles. Without pain, because pain will create a contraction reflex which goes against the stretch. On one muscles, well, I usually use the image of the chewing gum. You see, if you take a chewing gum and you put it into the fridge, you pull on it, it breaks. You first have to soften it before you can pull it. This is the reason why this stretch is ideal after a shower. There's a second variant of this stretch, which is a sitting down variant, which is of course more suitable in an office environment, but which I find a bit more difficult to do with precision. In the sitting down version, I will basically hold the chair with one hand on the side that I'm trying to stretch so as to keep my shoulder blade low. And to make it even a bit lower, I can tilt my body slightly to the side, but not too much. Then I will do the same, turn my head and head down. Some books will tell you to use the other hand to keep the head down. But you see, I'm not in favor of you using the full hand because that would be too much pressure on the very small muscles. So one finger will be more than enough. It's more a guiding force than a pulling force. And again, you keep it for one minute. It's important that you don't go back where it's like this, because that would be hollowing your back. I prefer you to be slightly forward so that you, you stretch your whole spine. And again, hold for one minute without any pain. Just one last thing, I strongly advise that if you stretch left, you also stretch right. You don't want the muscles that hold your neck to be treated differently 
otherwise you'll start having a tilted neck or at least asymmetric strain in your neck and that's never a good idea. So you stretch left and then you stretch right.